All right, next I'm going to show you how you could replace your LED emitter um, and your driver. Um, for instance, if you have a single color LED beacon and you want to go to a two color LED beacon, you can't just replace the LED emitter. You have to have the, the computer to go with it, the, kind of the smarts, the brains to go with the brawn there, which is your LED. So you're going to take the beacon and you're going to remove your dome, remove your lens, take your LED out and take your um, driver out as well and then reverse the process, put it all back together. So I'm going to just show you that um, real quick here. You're going to take your dome, it's going to turn counterclockwise and then you can wiggle it. Should come up. There's your dome. There's your lens. Here is your light emitter. And if you're replacing both, you could just unscrew your driver and pull the whole two pieces out together. Um, these should come in a kit if you're doing an upgrade from a single color to a dual color, or maybe you want to go to the rotator flash, or even upgrade to the RGB LEDs, which are coming a little bit later. If you're replacing both, there are two screws, one here and one here. And you would take those two screws out and then this will lift off and then you would put these two items together and put it back on. But if you're going to do it a piece at a time, um, let's look at the LED. The LED has two screw holes. If it's all the way down, you're going to take the top one, remove the screw from that, and then once that screw is out, then you push in that same place while lifting up on the LED emitter and then that'll go to the first go into the bottom hole press it in like that and the LED emitter will come off and then you can replace this again taking the screws out take that out um, and then when you put it all back together again these items might not be put together you'll take them and line them up you've got four pins here and a place for four pins to go there. Got to be a little careful with this because sometimes it slides on perfectly, other times you just have to line them up just a little bit into the holes. Once you have them, then it'll slide all the way down. So that's pretty easy. And then you would replace your screw all the way down for low profile, um, up one notch for the higher profiles, and then you would replace the lens. Fres Fresno lens and replace your dome like so. Get that all the way down nice and flat. Um, if you have problems turning it, again you can put it on a desk or a table and with this saddle you can turn and lock it that way. So that's how easy it is to replace those items there. Um, that's it.